I think one of the most terrifying things about the ocean is that we only know so little about everything that goes on down there. Surely a lot of people have gotten the chance to dive into the mysterious depths and spot some pretty cool stuff. But still, the ocean is so big, and I doubt that any human in history would ever be able to fully explore it and know every single thing about it. However, there are quite a few things we know about the ocean, and some of those things are quite shocking. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the biggest sea monsters ever caught. And I'm not necessarily talking about fishing. After all, we're talking about massive monsters, so it's quite impossible to actually catch these animals. Number 10. The Giant Sea Star Sea stars are lovely creatures. We see them all the time on Instagram posts from people who take trips to the beach. Although honestly, you shouldn't even touch them, please leave them alone. And I can actually see how many people find them attractive. These living creatures shaped like stars are truly unique. But have you seen the biggest one of them all? That would be the giant sea star, and you can find it on rocky shores along the western coast of North America. From Southern California to British Columbia, you can spot these creatures near the shallow waters. They can be as big as two feet long. Their colors can also be any shade from brown to red, and sometimes even purple. Since they're so big, there are not many animals out there preying on them. However, they do still have their predators, that being sea otters and seabirds, and sometimes there's also snails who feed on their larvae. The giant sea star gets their food by extending their stomach so they can fit them into tiny gaps. Pretty interesting, actually. Number 9. The Ocean Sunfish The Ocean Sunfish, also known as Mola Mola, is not only big, but it's also one of the heaviest bony fish in the world. They can be slightly longer than 3 meters, and weigh more than 2,000 kilos. Can you just imagine trying to fish one of these out of the water? It sounds like it would take a ton of work, and your average fishing pole would likely not be enough to get your hands on this bony fish. You can find the Mola Mola near the coast of countries like Chile, New Zealand, and South Africa. In places like Japan, Korea, and Taiwan, a dish of Mola Mola is considered a delicacy. And I can totally see that since, after all, it's not just a regular bony fish. Unfortunately, the Mola Mola is a vulnerable species, meaning that it could become endangered if the circumstances for its survival and reproduction don't improve. For that reason, some countries around the world have put up restrictions against the hunt of this large creature. Hopefully things improve for this big but harmless fish. After all, it's not a threat to us humans, even though its massive size could easily scare us away. Number 8. Japanese Spider Crab Spiders and crabs. How many of you are a fan of any of these animals? I'm sure lots of you are afraid of spiders, and many of you are not so fond of crabs. But imagine a Japanese spider crab. If you don't like spiders or crabs, then you probably won't want to run into this animal. Especially since it's one of the biggest creatures in the ocean. They can be as big as 3 meters wide or even a bit longer, and they belong to the family of arthropods, a family of animals that has more than 5 million members including spiders, centipedes, crabs, and lots and lots of other animals. Without a doubt, the Japanese spider crab is the largest one of them all, that we know of yet. Who knows, maybe there are bigger arthropods that we haven't discovered yet. Now even though this animal is big, it should never be a reason for you to feel threatened by it. Their legs are so fragile, and most of the spider crab loses at least one of those legs during the lifetime. Number 7. The Giant Oarfish We saw one of the heaviest bony fish ever. Now do you want to see one of the longest ones? Meet the Giant Oarfish. This serpent-like bony fish can be longer than 17 meters long. That's about 10 times larger than the height of an average human. Due to its long shape, when you see the oarfish, you'll probably think it's a snake and not a bony fish. Some people also call it a ribbon fish or the king of herrings. It is commonly found in the tropics, but it's also believed to be the kind of fish that migrates for long distances in search of food. Sometimes they swim on their dorsal fins and sometimes they swim vertically. Now, even though this creature is bigger than us, it doesn't have the tools to prey on us. Instead, the giant oarfish feeds from small things like krill, small fish, and also squid. In different mythologies, there are reported sightings of the mythical sea serpents, and experts believe that the animals they were referring to was in fact the giant oarfish. Some people also called it the earthquake fish because they claim that this fish appears before and after an earthquake happens. Number 6. The Great White Shark 
Here's a sea monster that you've seen before, and you'll probably keep seeing it every time we talk about monsters in the ocean. The Great White Shark. These massive sharks are long and heavy, and they can be as long as 7 meters, which is roughly about 3 times the size of an average human. They can also weigh about as much as 1,100 kilos. And of course, this poor beast has a lot of bad reputation thanks to its depiction in Hollywood films, starting with the good old Jaws. The Great White Shark is indeed dangerous, and it can cause severe damage to humans, but you're more likely to get attacked by other animals before you get attacked by a Great White Shark. In fact, there are only about five White Shark-related deaths reported every year, in the whole world. Due to its big size and eating habits, the Great White Shark is an apex predator, which means that there's little to no predators chasing after it. Except for another sea monster that I'm about to reveal with number five. The Killer Whale. We can't have the Great White Shark without its main natural threat, the Killer Whale. Also known as the Orca, this is by far one of the largest and most powerful animals in the whole world. This black and white mammal is in the same oceanic family as dolphins, which includes different toothed whales. Of course, the orca is the biggest of them all, and they're the apex predators since there's no natural predators chasing after them. They are sometimes called the wolves of the sea since they hunt in packs just like wolves do. They prey on animals like squid, seals, rays, dolphins, and sea lions. The orcas usually disable their prey before they eat it in order to avoid getting injured. When it comes to humans, orcas do not usually attack us while in the wild. However, it's an entirely different story when it comes to captive killer whales. Just take a look at what happened in SeaWorld San Diego, and you'll know what these animals are capable of doing to us. The orca identified as Tilikum killed its longtime friend and trainer. Since the incident, sea-themed attraction parks started taking action against keeping these beasts in captivity. They're slowly changing the way they do their shows, and eventually they don't want to have any killer whales at all. I'm not sure if these centers meant good when they first brought in the orcas, but it seems like these animals prefer to stay in the wild, where they can be as free as they want. Number 4. Giant Manta Rays Picture yourself in the best exotic snorkeling trip ever. Your head is underwater, admiring the magnificent ocean, when suddenly the ground begins to move. You might think it's your imagination, but ho ho ho, it's not. It's a giant manta ray moving underneath you. This is exactly what happens to a lot of people when they encounter this creature, camouflaged with the sand at the bottom of the ocean. They are so big that their large pectoral fins, which are their longest side, can be as big as 30 feet wide, which is the equivalent to four and a half times the height of Michael Jordan, the legendary basketball star. I would be scared to swim by an animal this big, but they're probably more scared of us than we are of them. And when in danger, they can swim as fast as 24 kilometers per hour which is pretty slow compared to the way we drive cars, but fast in terms of underwater velocity. For that reason, the giant manta ray doesn't have a lot of predators. It can easily swim away as soon as danger comes up. Number 3. The Fin Whale Also known as the finback whale, this beast is considered the second largest animal in the world today. The body of this whale is long and slender, and there are two famous subspecies of this animal. One of them lives in the North Atlantic, and the other one is in the Southern Hemisphere. But honestly, you can expect to find it in any ocean around the world, in tropical and polar waters. Unfortunately, just like many large whales, the fin whale has been hunted throughout history, and today it is an endangered species, which is very unfortunate considering that this whale doesn't pose a major threat to us, except for those shipwrecks that involved a collision with a fin whale. Surprisingly, there is one known natural predator to this beast, the killer whale. Even though the fin whale is bigger, the killer whale has the tools to attack this massive animal. There have been at least 20 accounts in which killer whales were seen attacking harmless but massive fin whales. One of these reports claims that there were 16 killer whales preying on a single fin whale. It sounds like things are pretty crazy in the underwater world, but I can't come to one conclusion. Killer whales are jerks. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now, the picture I have for you today shows a very massive animal on the shores of some beach. There's little information about this photo, and we can't say whether it's fake or not. However, there are two large sea monsters that we haven't discussed yet. One of them is still alive, and the other one is kind of extinct. Or at least that's what we know so far. Let's check them out with number two. The Blue Whale. Of course the blue whale is here. As long as we talk about big animals, the blue whale will always be on the top of the list. 
there is no larger animal in existence, and we seriously hope things stay that way. Because honestly, if there are larger animals down there, then I seriously don't want to get near the bottom of the ocean. The blue whale is so big that its heart is as heavy as a car, and its tongue is as heavy as an elephant. I mean, elephants are some of the largest animals on land, so that's even crazier. And it seems like mother whales encourage growth at a very early age, since they feed about 6,000 liters of milk to their calves on a daily basis. Once they grow old, they feed from tiny plankton and krill through the filters in their system. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Ichthyosaur We all know the blue whale is the largest sea monster in existence. However, back in 2018, a group of paleontologists in England revealed their findings of fossils of a sea monster that could easily be larger than the blue whale. This animal had the shape of a dolphin, and the fossils reveal it was a carnivore. However, this animal lived in the dinosaur time. The study of these fossils is relatively new, but it's been useful for scientists to understand the reason why whales today have gotten so big. Just imagine if they find out that the ichthyosaur is still alive. Those are all the sea monsters I have for you today. Which one was the most impressive and which one was the scariest? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.